Hey, Tim from Budget Bronco. Welcome back. So the weather here has been amazing uh, for like a month and I've had the top off for like three weeks straight and everything has been really awesome about uh, the Bronco so far. Um, what I haven't yet done though is I have not taken the doors off. And the reason for that mostly is just because I don't have a good place to store them. Unlike the four-door Bronco, the two-door Bronco, uh, these doors are four feet long and they do not fit in the back of the Bronco uh, like they do in the four-door Bronco with, uh, with um, extra space in the back. And the doors are a little bit shorter, so the Bronco has the ability to store the doors in the back. They're also a little bit more portable. I think they weigh less, uh, whereas these two doors weigh 60 pounds each. Uh, I believe the four doors are closer to like 30 or 40 pounds. So they're a little bit more maneuverable. I don't have a good place to put these uh, doors. That will be fixed today. I'm going to show you how to build a really inexpensive uh, and uh, easy storage rack for the two door Bronco. And uh, so let's uh, go take a look. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is where you can find the hooks that I found uh, to be a good match for the uh, setup system, the rack system that I'm building. The bracket that I'm using is from Harbor Freight, as you can see on this website. If you want to go to their website and find it, search for L Shape Hang All. For just five bucks, you get two brackets, which is enough to hang one door. Uh, they should be available pretty readily at stores. You might not uh, find them online, it looks like right here, but maybe that'll be available at some point. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see these are rated for 100 pounds. I'm not sure if that's just one bracket or both of them combined. Either way, the doors weigh about 60 pounds, so that gives you confidence that these are going to hold a door. And based on my installation, they seem plenty sturdy for that purpose. So. This is the bracket that I'm going to be using for the installation project. So here is the Harbor Freight hook in real life. And uh, I'm gonna show you why, after looking at a lot of different hooks, I actually even purchased a couple different kinds from Amazon, uh, but they didn't fit very well. I'll show you why, and I'll show you why this hook I've settled on, I think is really a perfect match uh, for building a storage rack for the two-door doors. If I come down here to the open door, you'll see uh, this is uh, looking at you know the cross section of the door. You've got the outer part of the door here, and uh, the bottommost part of the door is essentially the sheet metal that's rolled over. On the inner side of the door, you have this kind of complex geometry. It comes in, and then goes up again, and then comes out again this plastic panel that faces on the inside of the car. If you look at this Harbor Freight hook, it nicely fits right up into that uh, kind of notch there created by the inner panel and the uh, metal part of the door. And the top of the hook fitting right in that little notch is perfect for the bottom sheet metal side of the, the hook uh, to rest on. So with this hook, it'll keep the door really nice and secure while it's on the wall. And you can see here, there's lots of uh, extra space there for the uh, door between the door and the wall that I'm gonna mount it on. So uh, if you look at that, you can see, boy, this hook just almost looks like it's designed uh, to be perfect just for this Bronco door. Fits in there real nice. Next, I'll show you how to mount it to the wall. This is where I'm going to be installing the hooks. The reason I chose this area is because uh, you can see when I pull the Bronco in, the Bronco will be about right here. I wanted to make it really easy to move the door from the Bronco to the wall. There's only about two feet uh, that I'll have to actually pick up and move the door before it's on the hanger, which is good for people like me. I have a bad back. You don't want to be carrying that thing all over the place. So I put the mounting place right next to where the door is going to be while it's on the Bronco. Another thing I want to show you is uh, I purchased, uh, you can get this uh, pipe insulation. I think I got like six feet of it for two bucks. Uh, I cut about a nine inch piece of it and that fits real nicely over the hook as well. So I can uh, have a nice soft surface. This is where the bottom of the door, that sheet metal part of the door uh, will be resting. So this uh, pipe insulation will give a nice 
cushiony surface for that part of the door to rest on. I've already got one hook installed on the wall. Now if you have, um, my garage is below grade, so I've got cinder block walls. It makes it a little bit harder to get a really secure connection, a uh, really secure mounting point. Uh, if you have an above grade garage, you'll probably have drywall and you can uh, install these onto studs. Uh, probably a lot easier to do and get a nice strong uh, mounting point. Uh, because I had cinder blocks, I have to drill holes and I'll show you some uh, special concrete mounting pins, mounting uh, bolts that I'm using. But these are going to be about two and a half uh, feet apart. You can see I've got it marked off a little bit less than uh, two and a half feet apart. And yep, just a couple inches shy of two and a half feet apart. Again, the doors are four feet wide, four feet long. So uh, that's going to give a nice sturdy uh, base for the doors to sit on. Next, I will uh, show you how to how I'll mount uh, the second of the two hooks. For mounting into concrete block, I'm using these Tapcon concrete screw anchors. Uh, specifically the quarter inch diameter ones. These ones are two and a quarter inches long. Uh, they seem about perfect. On the first one that I installed, it it's a, feels really secure. I don't have any concern about these coming out of the wall. Um, so uh, I already pre-drilled my holes, just measured them out based on the holes uh, in the uh, bracket hook. And uh, so I've already got my holes drilled into the concrete. Now it's just a matter of putting these uh, Tapcon screws into the holes. See, that's not going anywhere. <clears throat> nice and secure. And here is the foam for extra cushioning. That's it. There's lots of videos out there to show you the process for taking off the door, so I'm not going to go through it in detail, but I will give you a few tips. Uh, one, I do have my bumpers installed that come with the toolkit just to make sure when you're putting the door on and off, you don't nick the paint. Uh, mirrors are fully forward, window all the way down. I've got both bolts removed from the door hinge. And when you lift it, you want to be over the top, uh, one hand on the handle, and then there's actually another lift point on the inside of the door that says lift on it. So it should be real uh, clear and easy. Uh, you lift the door up and out, and then I'll put it right on the rack. And you'll see I don't have to go very far. On my hose a little bit there. And just like that, it's resting up against the wall on the door handle, so I don't have to worry about the paint getting scuffed up. Perfect door rack for the two door Bronco. Nice and secure. I'm not worried about that coming off at all. The hooks, again, fit right on the inside of the door, so they're not going to slide off this way at all. And uh, I feel really good about just leaving it there while I go for a drive. That's it for today on Budget Bronco. I thought this would be a cool project. If you have ordered your Bronco, and like thousands of other people, you're waiting for it to be delivered, unfortunately, due to some of the delays and the hardtop especially. Uh, this is a cool project that you could do, a really easy and expensive project to do while you're waiting for your Bronco to be delivered. Something to keep you busy, something to keep you engaged. Uh, when your Bronco gets there, you'll be ready to take the doors off and uh, cruise in the open air. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.